So now that we've broken apart machine learning, data science, and artificial intelligence, let's focus in on data science and understand what data science is a little bit better. Mathematically, we're often going to be talking about three different aspects of our data. We often use the letters X, Y, and Z to represent these parts of the data. X often represents our data, our input data. And Y often represents supervised answers or labels that we want to produce given input X. And along the way, sometimes we will discover a hidden structure Z inside of our data. And in this segment, I'm going to be talking about some examples of finding X, Y, and Z in our data. So first, let's take a look at trying to predict whether someone will like a specific movie, say, on Netflix. You may have some training data about how much this user liked previous movies, like Sleepless in Seattle, Empire Strikes Back, or Aliens, and you want to use that to predict how much they will like Transformers. We often talk about training data, testing data, and these are very important in data science. Our training data is what we use to build our algorithms, and our testing data is what we use to evaluate our algorithms. On the training data, you have both the X's and the Y's. On the testing data, you have only the X's, and it's your job to try to predict what the Y's are going to be. In this case, the movie is your X, and the rating becomes your Y that you want to predict. Another possible application of data science is, let's say that you have a hard drive full of images, and you want to sort them into piles that make sense. In this case, the images are your data X, and the piles that make sense, whether it be pictures of nature versus buildings, or sunsets versus daytime, those are the Z's, some hidden structure in your data that you're trying to reproduce. We also talked about how we ourselves are data, and if you're trying to predict whether a person, given their genome, X, has some disease or not, would be your Y and you can use data science to do this as well. Let's say that you have financial transactions. One trader at a company who took some actions, X, you want to predict whether that trading history was the result of insider information or not. That is the Y that you're trying to predict. Data science is also increasingly a part of political science and political organizations, and you want to predict who will vote and for whom. The individual voters are the X's, whether they vote and whom they'll vote for is your Y. We also talked about the example of classifying an email into spam or not spam categories. Here the email is the X, and whether it is a spam email or not is the Y. Detecting faces is another common challenge if you're looking at images. And so here the image is your X, and the position of the face is the Y. In all of these applications, we have data X, and those data contain patterns. Those patterns can either be given to us a priori in the form of supervised information, Y's, or as something we need to discover, a Z. And this is a way that we'll be organizing our course in data science.